heading down to Table Rock. I go for a dock jig bite. This is my home away from home for the next three nights. Preconceived notions, right? 40, 50 foot deep, Damiki rig. How about 10 foot deep on a jig? Hey everybody, we are loaded up, geared up, and ready to go for stop number one of the 2024 Solo Pro Series. Heading down to Table Rock. Got four days of camping and fishing ahead of me. It's gonna be a great time. In a quarter mile, turn left into the parking lot. Hey, I'm so excited we made it down here to Port of Kimberling. It's 10 o'clock, made great time. Got registered from a campsite and we got plenty of time to get the tent set up, get a bite to eat, and then get on the lake. Gotta sweep up the goose crap first, get it out of the way. I'll tell you what, Cabela's makes a damn good tent. That six person cabin tent's gotta be every bit of 25 years old. It's February 22nd, I feel like I should be in shorts. Well, this is my home away from home for the next three nights. Right here on the water's edge, Port of Kimberling Campground. 67 bucks for three nights. That's a great deal. Now it's time to get to fishing. Gonna launch the boat and look for some shad. There's several coves. I'm gonna try and force myself to be disciplined and not start fishing. And just graph and idle, graph and idle, graph and idle, get a feel for what the fish are doing. It's still, even though it's warm, it's still February 22nd. So I gotta think that a lot of these fish are still gonna be out deep. The mouths of the creeks, the center of the channels, bluff banks, wherever the shad are at, I can't help but think that a lot of the fish are gonna be pretty deep down there with them. One of the beauties of staying here at the Port of Kimberling campground is they got this little private ramp right here by the campground, which is awesome. And I'm not going to lie, one thing I really am enjoying about taking the Thursday and Friday off is I don't feel rushed. In the past, I maybe get one day of practicing at best and have to get all my gear ready and I don't feel rushed this time. I had time to take my time, set up the camp, get a bite to eat, get my gear ready to go, get the cameras ready, microphones connected, all the things without feeling like I'm in a hurry, which is a wonderful feeling which I know my competitive nature is gonna kick in sooner or later, as it always does. The fishing starts, but I think like we're fishing at the Bassmasters Classic here. You can relax and enjoy a camping trip. Enjoy a beautiful Table Rock Lake. And not feel so pressured to catch fish or find fish right off the bat. All 
right, we're finally on the water. Game planning for this afternoon is just to start looking for shad. I'm gonna go back in Fisher's Creek and a couple other ones here fairly close to Port of Kimberling and just idle a bunch, look for shad, get a feel for where the depths of the fish are holding at, what parts of the creek that they're in and go from there. The only thing that's got me a little bit curious here is the water went from 49 to 51 all the way back here. So we got some warm rain and there is some fish out deeper. I wonder if that warm rain maybe didn't bring some fresh water, warmer water in the backs of some of these creeks. It won't last till Sunday, but that's a big difference. That's a better one. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe we don't put the jig up just yet. Oh God, I love this lake. I absolutely love this lake. Gosh, see him in that clear water. He ain't no giant, but to see him in that clear water, beautiful. That's a good solid keeper. I'll take five of those. Hmm. Preconceived notions, right? 40, 50 foot deep, Demiki rig. How about 10 foot deep on a jig? I like that a lot better. Seventeen incher almost. Take them all day. There you go, baby. You gonna jump? They're jumping. <laughs> they are jumping in late February. This is incredible. That's two good keepers back here. They don't let it come off. That's a good largemouth. Another 17 incher. Hmm. If I could make this the pattern, oh my goodness, I would be a happy, happy man.
I'd go for this all day. Hey, baby. I'd go for a dock jig bite. I don't think he's going to keep though. Nope, but a nice spot. That one hit it like you wanted it. Come here, you. You're gonna be close. Oh yeah, 15, thank you baby. I'm gonna have a hard time putting this jig down and this is what I said I was not gonna do. Oh, I was gonna scout and graph and blah, 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 blah. But gosh, it's hard to turn down a good jig bite. And I ain't very good with my electronics, and if I can just keep a jig in my hand and grind out five good ones with that, I'd be pretty happy. And with the weather conditions this week, it ain't going to get cold. I mean, it should only bring more fish up. So I would love just to keep a jig in my hand, figure out the best spots. I mean, those two 17 inches were on a channel swing bank farther back. And then that spot that was short was off a dock. And I've had a couple bites off of these flat rocky points. All right, I'm doing what I said I wouldn't do, and that is I'm doing a lot more fishing than I am scouting. But when you get a couple of 17 inchers and another keeper and some other shorts on a jig in 10, 12 foot of water, you kind of want to expand on that. What I'm finding is, is that pocket there had 50 degree water in it, and that's where the fish were. I fished several others like it, but the water's only 47, 48, and I can't get bit. So well, I think if I can find that warmer water, I can catch them up shallower. And if I don't, I'm going to have to go down deep, so. Good day. I think tonight for supper we'll go with these pineapple teriyaki beef patties I got in Herman when Katie and I went to a bourbon tasting there last fall. Pineapple teriyaki. Pretty dang good. I did the first one plain because I was starving. This one here, I got the flour tortilla heated up on the skillet. A little buffalo style mayo to go with it. Make a little wrap. Mmm, that's even better.
time to get the dishes knocked out. It makes it a lot easier if you can get the pan before it gets too cold, while it's still warm enough where you can handle it, but before the grease and stuff kind of cakes in, it makes it easier to get it cleaned out. It's been a good day. Found some warm water, had some good bites. Um, I'm gonna try and force myself to go out deep tomorrow and, and maybe a little bit Saturday and learn how to do that. But I'm also gonna be looking for more of that 50 degree water and see if I can't find some more shallow fish. So I think with that, I'm gonna study the lake map a little bit tonight, uh, probably watch a movie on the phone and call it a night. We'll see y'all in the morning. All right, this morning game plan, I'm gonna to go to a different part of the lake. I am going to force myself all morning to fish deep. Try those to Mickey rigs. You know, fish down 25, 30, 35 deep, 35 me. All right, this morning's game plan is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to force myself to fish deep all morning. We go to a different part of the lake, check back in some channel swings, some deep parts in the middle parts of the cove, the mouths of the cove, look for some suspended fish down deep. I force myself to learn how to use those jigging wraps, uh, Demiki rigs, use my life scope better, and uh, get more confident in fishing deep. Well, as good as yesterday was, as excited as I was, today was pretty much just the opposite. Caught a real nice four, four and a half pounder relatively early this morning on a windblown secondary point, about, I don't know, 14, 15 foot deep. And then I fished another 10 just like it and I never got bit. So the wind switched out of the north, northwest today. And uh, I never did find any water temperatures over 47 anywhere I went. So, and uh, I tried a little bit of deep fishing we're using my grass. I never did find any big schools of shad or, or fish hanging around them. So I'm just not that versed in using my grass like that. I need to get better at that too. So got one more day of practice tomorrow. Katie's coming to camp with me and we'll get back at it again tomorrow. Dear. Hey, if you like this video, check out our Bass Derby and Wildlife Habitat playlists for more great content. For fast and easy outdoor cooking recipes, check out our YouTube Shorts playlist. And finally, shout out to all the conservation professionals who make these outdoor adventures possible. Protect, conserve, and connect. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Thanks for watching, everybody.